Hey guys, it's Shadow the Rat, and for today's video, I will be reviewing a small rodent shop called the Rodent Boutique. This shop sells a bunch of different items geared towards rodents like rats, hamsters, gerbils, mice, and so forth, and I'm going to be reviewing some of the items that you can find in their store. Now to start, I first want to show you their hammocks because these are what I have the most different samples of. Uh, they make lots of different hammocks in lots of different sizes. Now one of the things I like about all their hammocks is that they actually have these little metal grommets, and these these are just little metal circular pieces that are put on each corner of the hammock and they make it super easy to hang these up uh, and plus of course since these are metal the rats cannot chew them which is a big bonus. Now I also want to go into specifics about each hammock because she actually has quite a few different hammocks. She has the standard hammock of course, the flat one where you just have basically one piece of fabric or actually in this case it's two pieces of fabric stitched together which makes it more comfy for the rats. Uh, but this is just your basic hammock. It doesn't have any layers to it or levels, but it's still super nice quality. And she sent me, I believe, the large version, which she says is good for two to three rats. And I would agree that this does fit two to three rats really well, possibly even more if you have smaller rats or just younger rats in general. And these hammocks actually come in four different sizes. She has a small, a medium, a large, and an extra large. And she also has guidelines on her site for which one fits which kind of animal best, which I think is really cool because sometimes it can be hard to know which hammock to get for your rats. Uh, in terms of size just because you can't really see them visually uh, and compare them to something else so it's just a really nice way to know exactly what you want to get for your rats. Now the standard hammocks are all great quality however I really want to talk about the other hammocks she makes as well since my rats typically tend to like the enclosed hammocks a little bit more. So one of the next hammocks that she sent me was a pocket hammock. This is basically your standard flat hammock with one main exception which is that instead of the two layers just being sewn together the two layers are just sewn around the edges and then they have one hole cut in one layer and the rats can use this hole to get inside the hammock and sleep in the pocket. Now the hole of course is stitched around the sides, it's not all messy like I'm making it sound. It's actually a really nice quality hammock and my rats really ended up liking the style of hammock because they just seem to really enjoy being able to burrow between two layers. Uh, if you've had rats for a while you probably know that if you have a standard hammock with two layers there's a good chance that at some point they will figure out how to get inside it uh, but with this hammock you don't have that problem because it's meant for them to go inside so from the start they can just get inside using this little hole and they can really enjoy sleeping inside it. So yeah this hammock worked out really well for my rats and it's a perfect size for them just like the other two hammocks so I would definitely recommend checking this one out if you have rats like mine that like to burrow inside things because this was a big hit with my rats. Now the next hammock type that I want to talk about is the cube hammock and this is basically just a cube of fabric and the rats can go sleep inside it. And the nice thing about this hammock is it actually has a kind of dual purpose because they can either sleep inside the hammock or they can sleep on top of it. And my rat Pickles has really taken to this hammock, which is really nice because she's pretty new to the group, so I was just really happy to see her enjoying the hammock so much. Uh, but all my rats in general really like the cube hammock, and I think it's a really big hit with most rats. So this is another one that I would definitely recommend checking out if you have rats that like to sleep in something enclosed. Now the next hammock I want to talk about is the double pocket hammock, and this one is super cute. I really love the design of the fabric for this, which I know doesn't really matter when it comes to the hammock utility itself, but I just really like the fireman fabric, so I thought that was super adorable. But with that being said, this hammock has been a huge hit with my rats as well. Uh, this is a double pocket hammock instead of a single one, so they can actually go into both sides. And they really enjoy going in and snuggling into one of the little pockets, and then just kind of popping up their heads when I come to say hi to them, which is just too cute. Uh, they are just so adorable when they use this one. But yeah, this one was also a big hit, and again, my rats are just really big on hammocks that are enclosed in some sort of way, so they tend to prefer these enclosed ones over any of the open ones, although they do like the open ones as well. Anyways, the pocket hammock is really cool, and I'm hoping that my rats will get to use this for quite a while. I'm hoping that they won't chew it up, so we'll see how long I have it, but it's really adorable, so I hope it's around for a while yet. Okay, so the final hammock I want to talk about is the tunnel hammock. Uh, and I got this cute little tunnel hammock with some Easter eggs on it, so it looks super adorable. Basically, the way this one works is you hang it up from all four sides, and the rats can go inside and sleep inside it, or they can sleep on top of it. And I really like this hammock because it has four attachment points. Uh, one of the problems you find with commercial tunnel hammocks is they typically only attach from two points, and that makes the hammock kind of sag in a straight line down, which is just completely uncomfortable for the rats. And so rats typically won't use the commercial ones too much. But with these sorts of ones where they have four attachment points, they go over a lot better, and my rats have really enjoyed going inside this one. I've seen them play inside it, which is super adorable, and I just really like the design of it because it's so easy to hang up in the cage, and my rats really do see to enjoy it. 
So yeah, that's another really cool hammock design, and I don't have any other hammocks to show you. However, I do want to mention a few other ones that she does sell. Uh, she also sells a double-decker hammock, which is basically when you have a flat hammock up top and then you have another hammock below it that's curving below so the rats can sleep inside or on top. Uh, she also does a rectangular hideout, which is basically like the cube hideout but a rectangle. Uh, she also does a corner hammock, which is a triangular hammock that goes in the corner of the cage. Uh, she also does a rectangular flat hammock, so that would be a more rectangular long version of the flat hammocks. And she has several other options, so if you want to check out some cool hammock designs, then I definitely recommend going to her website. Uh, she just has all of these listed here, and she has some really nice prices as well. So it's definitely worth checking out if you want to support small businesses, and if you also just want to get some really cool stuff for your rats. Okay, so with that being said, there are a few other things I want to talk about before I end this review. Uh, one thing is the snuggle sack, which is basically a sack made of fabric that the rats can go inside and snuggle in. And just like the pocket hammocks, my rats typically like this quite a bit, just because they are enclosed. These are also really nice because you can use them like bonding pouches, meaning that you can have the little sack on your lap or next to you and your rats can snuggle up in it. And they don't have to be out in the open so they will feel more safe. And they are also more likely to fall asleep and chill outside the cage if they are able to go inside something that's enclosed, especially when they're younger. So this is just a really nice option if you want to do something like a bonding pouch. And it's also nice inside the cage because they can just snuggle inside it. So yeah, the snuggle sacks are really cool and you have a lot of different options again on our site. Now the three last things that I'm going to show in this review are a toy, a kebab, chew toy, and then also finally a treat mix. And these are all really cool items as well. Uh, first of all, I want to go over the toy. This is basically a strip of fabric. It's kind of the length of a short scarf. Wow, that was very descriptive, wasn't it? Uh, but anyways, it's kind of a long piece of fabric that has these little cut pieces in it. So the rats can just play around with it. They can pull it around. They can chew it up. Uh, my rat Sugar has been pretty much just nesting with it because she really likes to pull fabric around with her. Uh, you can also just kind of use it for aesthetics in the cage. And it's also just something that the rats can hide under to feel safe. So it has a lot of different options. The next thing that I have here is a kebab toy. And this is their hay kebab toy, I believe. And this is basically a toy consisting of some sisal string holding up a few wooden blocks and it has these little hay pellets in between them. And I want to make a quick note here because I know hay and rats tends to be a bit of a iffy subject. Rats in general are kind of like us. They can't really digest hay or high fiber foods. With that being said, it's completely fine for them to eat these foods. And in fact, good rat lab blocks like Oxbow will also contain some hay as a filler for the food. So it's completely fine for them to consume some of this as long as they're not consuming excessive amounts. Anyways, that's it for the kebab toy. My rats really enjoyed it, so you can probably see on screen I've had a video playing of them really enjoying chewing up this toy. So, you know, if your rats are into kebab toys or into chewing up treat toys, this one is a really nice option. Uh, but anyways, I want to move on to the last thing she sent me, which is a treat mix. And this treat mix consists of a bunch of different things, like different nuts and seeds. And it went over really well with my rats. They've really enjoyed every single thing in here. It has a bunch of different things in there that are safe for them to eat and are just things that you want to feed in moderation. And, well, it's a treat mix, so that's kind of implied with it being a treat mix. You don't want to overfeed any sort of treat food. It does have a few things like dried fruits in there which are kind of high in sugar so you don't want to overdo them but again as a treat mix it's a really nice thing and they really tend to enjoy it. My rats have been really enjoying especially the dried banana chips in there. Those are always a treat for rats so they've really enjoyed having those in here and they've enjoyed every single thing in this mix. Overall I was very pleased with all the stuff from the rodent boutique. This stuff is just amazing. My rats have absolutely loved the hammocks, they love the treats, they love the toys. So everything's gone over really well. And on top of that, everything is really fairly priced. Uh, and they also have options for not just a bunch of different hammocks and items, but they also have a lot of custom options. So you can choose what your hammock looks like and what type it is. So it's just really diverse in what you can get there for your rats and other small pets. Anyways, if you guys would like to check them out, you can do so by going to the link in the description below. I will link their website and I will also link their Instagram page. So so you can find them there and I will also have them linked in the comments as well. So that's pretty much all I wanted to talk about today. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this as much as I did. I think it's really cool getting to see all these different small businesses and all their different amazing rat products. Uh, you really just don't get this sort of quality and care when you go for the commercial options on Amazon. It's just really cool to see the amount of care and customization you can get by going through smaller businesses like the Rodent Boutique. Anyways, again, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope to see you next time. Bye!